ILA, which is the Institute for Legislative Affairs, is a civil society organization that works with policy makers, parliamentarians and other stakeholders to promote pro-people policies and legislation. Um, we have worked in the area of public health advocacy uh, since 2004 and uh, uh, specifically on the issue of tobacco control as a risk factor for um, uh, non-communicable diseases. To reduce access to tobacco products, the government passed a law that restricts sale of cigarettes in particular, which are mostly the most common product used in Kenya, so that they are not sold in single sticks, hence making them easily available. So cigarettes should be sold in a packet of minimum of 10 sticks, and that packet must have must comply with the other laws, including must have a health warning, so that whoever buys tobacco products must access the health warning that is on the packet. In 2010, Kenya um, inaugurated a new constitution which created 47 county governments in addition to the national government. Health policy or health service delivery is one of the uh, obligations that have been heavily devolved and yet you find that the counties do not have the necessary capacity, especially when it comes to implementation of tobacco control as a, as a, a major issue in public health service delivery. And therefore, this project to us is an innovative strategy towards providing the enabling uh, policy and legislative framework for counties to be able to implement tobacco control effectively and uh, as well as building their capacity to be able to do so. In this project, we engaged four counties, that is Nairobi County, Baringo County, Laikipia and Kajiado counties. So in each of these counties, um, the interventions that we were uh, providing in the county was mostly providing technical support and capacity strengthening um, for these counties to be able to engage. Our work relationship between the, the assembly and Haila, I can start by saying this is a mutual relationship whereby uh, we really benefit as assembly. As a house of legislature, we strongly believe that uh, Haila played a very big role in terms of uh, partnering with us, uh, synthesizing us, giving us actual knowledge about so many things in legislation. We came to learn that tobacco is really, really bad. It's really bad for our health. Indeed, it causes a lot of diseases, uh, heart diseases, liver diseases, cancer, and, and so many. So it was a very educative uh, process. The first phase of the project had three main goals. The first one was to build um, a policy and legislative framework for counties that is enabling for them to be able to implement tobacco control effectively. The second goal was to build capacity of selected stakeholders within the counties to be able to um, achieve or to be able to carry out their responsibility when it came to tobacco control. And the third objective was to build the capacity of ILA as an institution to be able to carry out its tobacco control work effectively, but also to promote sustainability. The project had a number of out outcomes. The first one is um, capacity building and awareness creation in tobacco control. We were able to mobilize stakeholders to support or to engage in tobacco control. Then through this project as well, we were able to generate evidence because we conducted a few studies um, for instance, we did an assessment of the status of implementation of tobacco control in, in a few of these counties and that generated evidence that informed the interventions that we were um, carrying out in, in these counties. Through this project as well, we were able to uh, develop or um, provide a framework for tobacco control legislation in the counties. We have had an opportunity to be taken through the whole process of, you know, um, trying to get the tobacco control bill come into law and uh, I can say ILA has been one of the main stakeholders that have actually been spearheading you know for the implementation and you know the adoption of the bill into into law. The experience of having worked with them actually exposed to us as the civil society on the issues of legislation, which has actually enabled us to come up with this uh, tobacco bill, which actually I think it's the first in, of its kind in this country. I've benefited in this project being a, a committee member of health, and it was one of the bills that we passed. 
I, I stand very proud being a member because we've passed a bill that is going to help the people of Baringo. This project ran from 2016 to 2018 and around this time uh, we had very critical political activities going on in the country and this proved to be a challenge since it was around the time that Kenya was going through the elections and, and since we needed um, the legislation to be passed and during a specific calendar within the legislative process it became challenging because we, we had to um, in some cases shelf the work a bit to wait for the situation to cool down a bit and then pick up later. Let me start with the challenges that we experienced in this all this process. There was a lot of interference by the tobacco, uh, the, 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 the tobacco companies. They actually lobbied uh, for this bill not to be passed because they saw as, as if we are interfering with their businesses. Sasa katika county yetu ya Laikipia, tumeleta mambo mengi ambayo ni ya contract farming, kuna sunflower, kuna mambo ya soga, kuna mambo ya uh, nyanya, kuna mambo ya viazi, kuna hata mambo ya macadamia na mambo ya pia ya avocado. Kwa hivyo sio lazima uweke ile mmea ambayo inaharibu wananchi. Key lessons we learned as I from this project include the first one is having the model tobacco control county law was a very good thing because it provided an effective framework for how counties can establish their own tobacco control legislation. The other lesson, um, uh, key lesson we picked from this project is that it's important to engage, identify and maintain contacts throughout the different stakeholder groups in the county. We also learned that um, partnerships and networks are important. The other key lesson we learned is timing. The legislation uh, development process runs through a specific calendar and sometimes it does not necessarily fit within the timing and the time frame of the project. We are calling upon, of course, the national government to implement the tobacco bill at the national level so that they can give us the resources so that we are able to fully implement the tobacco bill at the county level. One recommendation um, around that is that Counties need to be supported in whichever way. They need to be supported to be able to play their role in tobacco control implementation in the country. I would encourage you know, the partners in tobacco control, both in the country and, and you know, partners beyond, to provide whatever support they can to the counties to effectively carry out their responsibilities in tobacco control implementation. We have benefited a lot. Matters of tobacco have been very silent. But with the enactment of the bill, uh, they are going to be more out there. Uh, even the communities uh, will be able to know the effect that tobacco has on the health and uh, the health of our people. So in the long run, uh, the county is going to benefit, not just for this generation and generations to come. ILA as, a, as an organization also benefited because the project elevated the profile of ILA in terms of being able to work in the county. So the project provided an avenue to go into the counties. ILA had capacity strengthening both at the board level in terms of uh, the board being trained in governance as well as at the staff level. We had capacity building in M&E. The project enabled ILA to improve um, in um, uh, project management and also um, financial management. As we speak now, already the bill is a law. It has been assented by the county governor. So now we are very proud as, uh, as Baringo residents, and also we are very proud as Baringo CSO network that now we have a tobacco control law in place. This project has helped us in uh, legislation. Uh, it's one of the law in Baringo County where we supported. Secondly, uh, we were trained on issues of that focus, uh, high level trade, uh, the network members studies from the Baringo Civil Association Forum on focus. We'd really like to thank the stakeholders in the counties, the CSOs we worked with, the media partners who, who supported us and who you know, engaged with us in, in one or other activities in the counties. We were lucky to have you know, very supportive groups in the counties we worked with. ILA is immensely grateful 
for the technical and financial support that we have received from the ACBF, without which we would not be able to achieve um, what we have achieved in this project. We have received technical support and financial support for which we are immensely grateful.